Good morning. It's Saturday, July 11th, 2020. It's early. We're standing in front of the stitching post where I've hung some family quilts. We don't have the firemen this year to hang our employee challenge, but we have some awesome husbands and friends of the show. I'll come back around and show you that. But first, I have to admit, it was really hard driving through town this morning and um, feeling really sentimental. So I'm gonna share with you 12 family quilts. These first three hung at the very first Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show 45 years ago. They are from my mom's side of the family, my mom and my aunt. I'm gonna come up close, see what we can see in here. Beautiful double wedding ring. When I talked to my mom about my idea of hanging 12 quilts in honor of her and the shop and Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show, and I said, it needs to be family quilts. So we decided three from our family that started this off, three from my mom, three from my Aunt June, and three from me. So this is our family quilt show. This is an old one. I'm so sorry about this. Well, I shouldn't be complaining about the sun. Look at that prettiness. All right. So those are the three family quilts. Now we'll go on to mom's quilts. This is mom's, I think this is one of her most recent quilts. It's called Garden Girls, adapted from Freddie Moran's pattern. And she, I love these girls. I'm like, we need to talk to Freddie about making this as a pattern. And there's little girls and there's big girls in all sorts of fun stuff. I just love this quilt. It makes me so happy. All right, we're moving along. This is my mom's, she calls it her wedding quilt. Both my brother and I got married in her garden um, back in, gosh, for me it was 2003 and my brother was, I don't know, four years maybe before that. Anyway, so she created this beautiful quilt in memory of her garden weddings. This um, is another, I can't remember the name of this quilt, I apologize, but this is another one of mom's. This was one of her first kind of step into the abstract um, sort of design. She had taken a Nancy Crow workshop. I just love this quilt, the colors, everything about it. I'm getting into the dirt here so I can show you. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I remember her working on this and it was such a beautiful process to watch her create and to see this develop and become the quilt it is. All right, here's one of my quilts. This was one of our uh, employee challenges. I think it was called My Village or something. Anyway, and it's kind of hard to see, but ah. Oh, those little blocks of color represent all my peeps, all my village. And then I quilted, oh, there's a nice big black thread. Ignore the black thread, that's not part of it. But I did quilt a big, huge, funky tree that takes care of my village. Pieced with lots of different neutrals in the background. I quilted this whole thing. I really love this quilt. I have one of my block prints in here. Little birdie. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, this is one of my more recent quilts is Morning Chatter, made out of my um, murmur fabric with the hummingbirds. Revisiting New York Beauties, which I love so much. But when my kids were little and I was designing a ton, I did not have the time to do as much New York Beauties. But I'm back to them. I love them. This quilt is super special to my heart because it has, it's 20 years worth of designing fabric and 40 collections. Oh my, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a frog in my throat. So it has all my fabrics from 20 years of designing fabric, 
And this quilt's two years old, so I've been designing now for 22 years. So this quilt will always, always hold such a special place in my heart. I love quilting it and seeing every one of those pieces and remembering when I designed them and what they meant to me, what was going on in my life at the time. And now for my aunt's work, my aunt is, oh my God, she's such an epic artist. Look at this. This is painted and then, I mean, it looks almost like a photograph. She is amazing. She has a lot of painting and fusible landscapes. I'm gonna get in close so you can see this. So some of it is the fabric choices, but then some of it is the, the painting that she does, like on that wood. Next is one of her pet portraits, which is just awesome. Look at that dog. You can see the personality. I just love this quilt. I love what she did with the background, how it feels like it's painted. She is one talented lady. And what's really cool is that Aunt June lives right next door to Mom. So we get to see her all the time. My kids get to feed off of her creativity and learn all sorts of new things. This is the last quilt of June's, which actually has June on it. And some of her pets. Aw, we love seeing all this. There's Willow, Willow the Corgi. Couple of her horses. So this is painted on. And then like her face is, is uh, fused. So anyway, our tradition continues, even if it's just a smaller version today. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that we're here and that we're able to even share this with you through all these crazy times. And I'm grateful for all of your support and kind words this week. I'm super excited to watch this SOQS2020 hashtag and see everybody hanging their quilts outside. It just, it gives me goosebumps. It makes me so grateful to be a part of this quilting community and that you have embraced this virtual show and all of us. So I'm moving along. I, oh, we have a few visitors actually coming to watch the faux firemen hanging the quilts. So I was asking Sally Frey, who is always in charge of the firemen, about hanging quilts with these said firemen. And she said the scariest one was the time when the Mexican restaurant caught on fire and they all had to leave. Yeah. Anyway, oh, she said the most stressful. All right, so here are some of our employee challenge quilts. Look at these. I don't even know who did what right now, so I'm just gonna show you. And then as we, oh my God, that is so cool. Oh, and look at this one. Wow. God, my employees are talented. Here we are, my husband, my dad, Marv, one of my employees' husbands. Here's another one. Oh. Wave to the camera, honey. <laughs> All right. I will share everyone the rest of this a little bit later.